Let's go through then this bed bug life stage. Starts out as an egg, and it's important to understand the female will glue the eggs to a surface. Washing linens and other stuff re get the eggs off. It actually, the detergent and hot water will take them off. But they just don't flip around like cockroach eggs. You know, you'll see the draw, you'll see their egg capsules around that aren't glued. But this one is glued to a surface. The babies hatch out. They're clear in color. They have their first blood meal. They start getting, and then an adult is like we said earlier, a pretty good size, easily seen. So let's now visualize a feeding right here. So as you can see, here is an adult bed bug walking a little bit uncomfortably on this skin, but look how flat it is. It's as flat as a pancake before it actually feeds, and now it's starting. As you can see, it's swelling up. It will take three to five times its body weight in blood. This feeding process takes, usually it says three to 10 minutes. That's a little long. Most of the time, by five minutes, it's actually had its meal and it scurries off. We have a, a training center in Atlanta that most of our students come to throughout the country. And over the last four years, I asked them, would you like to volunteer to feed? I didn't force them. But anyway, we had 1,300 students feed bed bugs for me. So I, I'm very confident in knowing what happens when you feed bed bugs. Out of these 1,300 people, 3.8% had a reaction at the time of feeding. When I plotted it out 18 days, it increased 1% more. So what I'm saying is, based on 1,300 people, only 4.5% of them had any reaction. 95% had zero reaction. Now, why is that important to you? You could have bed bugs in your apartment complexes or where you're staying at hotels and not know it.